In this video, we're going to talk about parallel arrays, uh, what they are, why they're useful, and kind of how to use them. Um, but basically, uh, a parallel, well, parallel arrays allow you to uh, store data for um, kind of across multiple different subjects uh, that all relate to one record is a good way to think of it. Um, for example, we might have a list of students, um, their ages, and their grades, uh, but you wouldn't necessarily want to create um, you know, one array that holds all of those things right off the bat. And so instead what we can do is we are going to include, uh, let's go ahead and include the string library right now, which lets us use strings. And so we'll create a string array called students. Um, and it's going to be of size records. Um, and then we'll go ahead and... Um, Let's just, you know, for the sake of this, we're just going to do uh, the students and their grades. And so we'll do grades, and it is also the same size as records. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll say students um, at zero can equal James Decker, and students at one can equal Bobby McGee. That's probably right. There we go. And students at two can equal John Doe, and you know we'll just have John Doe's for uh, three and four as well because that's just going to happen. Um, and then what we'll go ahead and do is for grades at zero, and so this grade will relate to James Decker's grade, and of course he gets an A for being awesome, without that extra comma there. And then um, we'll go ahead and do grades at one, which relates to Bobby McGee, and he can have a B. And then we'll go ahead and just process all the way down, uh, just getting worse and worse for these poor students, C, D, and F, and then two, three, and four, perfect. Now we've created parallel arrays where we're able to iterate across students at the same time that we iterate across grades and the data matches up. And what I mean by that is I can create one for loop where i is less than records and do plus plus i and we can say see out students at i has a grade of and now we can do grades at i. And so what this allows us to do is we're iterating across students and grades at the same time, once again, parallel arrays, so that this is matching up with this, and this is matching up with this, and so on and so forth. And let's go ahead and run it and take a look. And we can see, sure enough, uh, James Decker has a grade of A, Bobby McGee has a grade of B, John Doe has C, John Doe has a grade of D, and you know, let's go ahead and put John Doe 1, 2, and 3, just so that we can be a little bit better. A, B, C, D, and F. And there we go. So that is once again how to use parallel arrays and a good example of when you might want to use them.